So I'm back out. And for once, I'm not in the Brecon Beacons. I'm not on Dartmoor. I'm not in the Lake District. I've come up to the Peak District for my very first wild camp on Kinder. I'm just heading up Ringing Roger. Now, those of you who know me, and those of you who watch the channel, welcome back, by the way. You'll know that I know next to nothing about uh, the Peak District in terms of where I can camp on Kinder. So a bit of an exploration, which is not helped by the fact that my journey has taken over five hours instead of about three and a half. <laughs> Thanks to traffic, accidents and road closures, it's no wonder I've not come up here very often or hardly at all. But, you know, I'm here now, going to make the most of it. Uh, let's see what we find. So I'm just above the nab now. I was going to stop there and go through the view, but there's a bunch of lads there with portable barbecues. So I've just got to the point where I think the steepest is almost done, apart from the last climb up, ringing Roger. Oh, it's beautiful up here. I'll show you some of the heather when next time the sun comes out, if it does. So it really makes them shine. It's beautiful. Proper, what is it, purple stinged heather? Yeah, just lovely. Unfortunately, there's a lot of people around. So lots and lots of people know <laughs> that it's beautiful this week. It's just before the end of the school holidays. I would have come next week, but it's Linda's birthday next week, so it can't be done. Instead, we're, we're off at the lakes, a couple of nights in a hotel, or b and actually, and bag some more Wainwrights. Which is what she wants. I might take her into the out kit shop. Let her buy something, eh? Okay, let's get up this hill. So just come around the corner, and there is Ringing Roger. Just a bit of a steep climb up it. And then I'm going to go on round this way towards. Uh, it's Grindslaw Clough. There's Golden Clough just down here. Grindslow Clough farther down. Jacob's Ladder right over in the background. So I'm going that way, hoping I can find somewhere to uh, put a tent up. So here we are on Ringing Roger. Edel down there. Great ridge over the back. And all this down here, this is all purple heather. So the sun's in at the moment, so it's not shining like I was hoping, but it'll do. That's ah, a bit of a scramble up there. Whoa. There was another chap behind me who assures me there's lots and lots of pitches, but don't, don't pitch in a peat bog, he said. Probably good advice. Right, let's get, to, let's get somewhere a bit more stable. It's Golden Clough. Dry as a bone. Ringing Roger in the background there. The sun's come out. Making this heather shine at last. Look at this. Is this beautiful or is this beautiful? Just absolutely lovely. Okay then, so traffic aside, it's good here, isn't it? Eh? <laughs> I'm so glad that I... I was thinking at one point, stuck in a 45 minute traffic chaos around Worcester that I might go on but as you know on my last camp if you watch the channel you know that I I went home after sitting through 40 plus I think mile an hour winds on flanks of Corndy and uh, although the tent was handling it I just thought you know what's the point 
because uh, so I wasn't going to give up again and I'm so glad that I didn't I mean just look isn't this gorgeous you guys that live up this way you just don't know how good you've got it do you all right let's finish this climb up onto the plateau I've got about two hours to find a pitch which should be plenty <laughs> but you know me I'm worse than the solo summit here it's pretty windy nothing outrageous but just loving this loving this according to Andy Beavers there's a spring down there I don't know I could waste an awful lot of time looking for it so I brought my water with me gorgeous just gorgeous so cool Very cool. I'm approaching Grinsbrook Clough, which is just there. And I think there's a pitch just above it. So pretty sure I've seen some guy camping not too far from here. I'm getting tired now. Still, you know, I mean, I've been to parts of the plateau I've never been before. And yeah, interesting. Right, let's go find this pitch. It's all pitched up. And uh, just about sunset now. Hopefully we'll get some colour in the sky. I was listening to somebody talking just now and I thought, I can't see anyone. But there's a chap. There's a chap just down there taking photographs. <laughs> anyway, there's my pitch. As you can see. All up nice and tight. Beautiful. Unfortunately the sun's a bit too low to shine on anything that we can see. But not to worry. You can see it's starting to light up the clouds. Not too shabby. So there's my pitch. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. It's a bit high off the ground because it's a bit lumpy. But, you know... That's one thing this thing does, this tent. So in this vestibule we have all the usual cooking stuff, foods in there. I brought the outkit sky high, 500 this time. Flexdale pillow, Nemo mat, and the atom packs in the other vestibule. Pretty simple setup really. So we're looking across here, Creden Tower. Ah, uh, Creden. Looking across Greensbrook Clough there down into the Edel Valley and across to the Great Ridge. And this is, uh, yeah, nice. Right, settled in. Brews on the normal cup of Oxo. Mm. Nice. Just discovered there's some lads I say lads, could be old men for all I know, parked a couple of hundred yards over there on the next set of rock. I was hoping to get up here a lot earlier, a couple of hours earlier than I did, thanks to the traffic that didn't happen. So I could have a really long walk around, um, have a look around the wall packs, Croton Tower, um, etc, etc, looking for pitches for the future but that didn't turn out to be the case. And maybe next time I'll get across to the, the northern escarpment and see what's over there. The wind's died down, but it is really cold. Um, I made the mistake of not bringing my puffy jacket. Oops. So I might wrap myself in the sleeping bag. <laughs> It's lovely and quiet. Occasionally there's an aircraft goes over on the way to Manchester Airport, which I hadn't bargained for. Thing. Um, been asked why it is Linda's not been coming out with me this year. And the answer is she's hurt her shoulder. It's nothing nothing serious. It's just like a tweak on you know the muscle neck, shoulder muscle there. And you know, day-to-day -day life it doesn't really bother her that much it's just a bit sore but it's it just not going away and she can't carry 
a uh, camping backpack. Obviously it's on the shoulders, so she's not been able to come out. So she's, she's not very happy really. But uh, maybe, you know, if it doesn't get too cold too quick and it improves a bit. She's been to the physio again today. Maybe she'll get out later. But we are, we are going to the Lake District next, next week um, for a couple of days. A bit of Wayne White bagging for her. It's her birthday and that's what she wanted to do. A couple of days in a hotel. And dinner out and a walk. So that's what we'll be doing next week. Anyway, for now, I'm going to get some water boiling and get this into me. And I'm going to wrap myself in my sleeping bag because I am cold. any meat in it. Can't see any meat. Right, got my last brew ready. I've decided to have soup this time. You've got to be careful how you drink this because obviously you boil the water, put it in the soup, stir it. If you try and drink it you're just going to take the skin off your throat so you've got to wait. And there's a fine line between waiting long enough for it to cool down so you can drink it nicely and missing it so it's too cold. I've been watching a bit of YouTube while I've been sat here. Um, a guy I do know, Paul, Pilgrim Paul, has spent the last three years walking the southwest coastal path, doing like a few days at a time as and when he's been able to, camping along the way mostly, and he's just finished that last Sunday so oh, Huge congratulations, Paul. I mean, it's a three-year project. You've done it, pal. Well done. I'm so pleased for you. And talking about YouTube, I've had my first really negative, snarky comment. Um, three years in, that's not too bad, is it? Um, it was re with reference to my last attempted camp where I decided, because of the winds were so strong and so gusty, I decided that enough was enough and I went home. I bailed. Um, apparently I shouldn't have gone if I didn't think my kit was up to it. Well, I did think my kit was up to it. I just couldn't see the point in sitting out there all night in it if I didn't have to. Um, what else was it? Oh, if, if I thought that was wind, I know nothing. Well, 40 plus mile an hour gusts that's wind so you know and then apparently all us youtubers are fair weather campers yeah i'll take that i don't deliberately go out when the weather's rubbish why should i i can go out when it's if i can go out when it's nice i'll do that i like sitting outside looking at the world i don't want to be huddled in a rain soaked tent getting battered by wind there's no point anyway my first negative comment in three years um i didn't respond i just didn't right i'm going to get my head down now and get some sleep see if i can tune out the noise of these airliners going over and i will see you well for you about five seconds for me hopefully a good night's sleep i'll see you in a bit Sun's up. So, now one of the reasons I'm on this edge is I was expecting a mist in the valleys, and I think, as you can see, there is mist in the valleys. All the valleys except Dedale is probably around the corner. I can just see it sneaking around. But look at this. Isn't this special? Just beautiful. Just. Okay, well I'm going to uh, start packing up and get down. <laughs> I've got a long drive in front of me, which I'm not looking forward to at all after yesterday, but we'll see. Anyway, dive into the tent, start packing up. Ready 
to go to show you where I was. As you see, no trace, as it should be. Take all my rubbish with me. Not that I got a lot. So plan is to go round to Grinslow Clough, take a look down it. <laughs> it's just over there. And then I'm gonna walk along here and then back down into the valley. It's lovely, doesn't it? Well, I would say, oh, there's a path here. Didn't know that was there. <laughs> I would say that was a successful camp. So first time in the peaks, survived the night, found a nice pitch. What else could you need? Just a little bit of mist coming over the hill now. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I should be back. Hopefully next time I can get here a bit earlier and I can spend a bit of time wandering around the plateau looking for other pitches. Obviously I've watched all Andy Beaver's his, uh, videos. Yeah, but it's a bit different when you're here. You think you know where he is, but I actually got no clue. So here's the top of Grinsley Clough. I did look down there, but be honest, I didn't fancy it. Not with this big bag on. So I'm going out here now to Grinslow Knoll. I can see there's somebody else with a big bag up there. And then down over the side. Just been chatting to the two lads who were camped above me. And one of them got up <laughs> as soon as he saw the light and shot up over, up over towards Ringing Roger so that he could take some pictures of the sunrise. So oh, good on you. The other chap said he slept through it. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just heading to the top of Grinslow Knoll. I still don't know if it's Grinslow or Grindslow. I'm saying Grinslow because that's what I sort of picked out. <laughs> Let me know if I'm wrong, won't you? But it's beautiful. Look at the mist down in the valley now. Just a faint mist. I'll definitely be back here. Definitely. Anyway, I've got a long drive back to Gloucestershire, so i best get a move on and get down there. See you in a bit. So, top of Greenslow Knoll. Have a look at the view. Just incredible. I can see why people come here so often. Looking over there to Craven Tower. Wall packs behind there. Coming down here, Jake's, is it Jake's Ladder or Jack's Ladder? I think it's Jake's. And the Great Ridge, coming around over there. Okay, time to go down. Looks like it's that way. Well, as you can see, it's a pretty ropey path going down here. So I'm gonna put the camera away for a bit and I'll just leave you with these views which are beautiful. So that's it for today. I'm gonna get the sticks out and get myself down this Ropeo path. So thank you very much for watching. And if you'd like to like it or subscribe to my channel, that'd be fantastic. And I hope to see you in the next one.